I'm just letting you know now, this video is super wholesome. There is absolutely nothing sinister with this super wholesome video. I'm just giving you a heads up. So one more time for good measure. There is nothing sinister with this video. All right, see you at the end. Oh, hey, I've been looking all over for you. Well, of course I have. I wanted to talk to you. No, no, you're fine. You're not in trouble. I promise. And do I look like a girl that breaks promises? Maybe in another life, but not this one. <laughs> oh, I do want to ask. Do you have anything that you need to do? You do? Okay, uh... I actually have something pretty important to tell you, so... Is it okay if I just take a few minutes of your time? Sweet, thank you so much. Alright, follow me. Oh, perfect. This will do. Come here. Okay, so, the reason I brought you in today was actually, uh, it's not as important, so I hope whatever you needed to do, you know, wasn't also... Ooh, it was? Okay, um, in that case, I will try to keep it short. But you know me, or you don't, in this case, so I'll explain. I love to beat around the bush, as I'm doing now. I can hear the dying question being formed in your head. Why were you brought here? Very good question. Now, there is a reason why I love to beat around the bush, especially now, and it's because what I want to talk to you about is kind of embarrassing, and I really don't know how to approach it. So, I'm going to take my time. I can only imagine that whatever you need to do is very important, but please, you have to understand why I'm doing this. You don't. Okay, that's fine, but hopefully after this conversation, you will. So yeah, um, let me just start getting to the point. So uh, a little bit of backstory on why I'm doing this. Uh, over the years, I started to take notice of you. And first, I was like, oh wow, that's a pretty cool person. And then it kind of snowballed into, I need to know what their skin feels like. And not in that way. That sounded really bad, didn't it? Well, I didn't mean it that way. I, I promise. I meant like, on your face. So, as you see, I am a very big sensory person and textures are just my thing. And right now, my hyperfixation is just... Well, hopefully this doesn't sound weird, but the human skin. Just feeling the different parts of their face. There's so many different textures on one area. I mean, it's like sensory overload. And before you say anything, no, this isn't a kink. But I will say... It is a plus that you're, like, super cute. I'm just saying. <laughs> you're right, you're right. So, basically, the reason why I brought you here is because I would like, with your permission, of course, to feel your face. No pressure. Really? You... you would really let me? Oh, wow. Uh, I didn't expect to get this far, so I actually don't know what to do. Yeah, you're right. I should probably just get to the point and uh, touch your face. But uh, I guess I really didn't expect such a quick yes. Like, even I know that this request is, like, really bizarre. So, wow, you did not hesitate. Uh, it was almost like I was asking you for the time. Oh, man. Wow. What a change in uh, plans. Well, you see... This is about the time where you, you know, got mad at me for this and left to do the more important thing? You're really not gonna leave. Wow. First off, thank you so much. This means a lot to me. I've never had anyone bend their back sideways over my hyperfixation. Like, wow, you really went out of your way to do this for me. So again, thank you. Really. But yeah, with that being said, let's get straight to the point. <laughs> Too serious? 
Yeah, yeah. I'll work on it, I promise. Here, let's just sit next to each other and, uh, yeah, that's all you really need to do. Leave the rest to me. <sighs> okay, here we go. Just hold still. Oh. Oh. My gosh. You have the softest face ever. No, I'm not even kidding you. Your cheeks, they are so, so soft. Have you not ever felt them before? Here, give me your hand. How does that feel? See? I'm telling you the truth. I wouldn't lie about something like this. Ooh, right here. Oh, wow. I can literally feel your skull. <laughs> this part around the eyes, it's my favorite. Well, of course. Majority of your skin is covering fat or muscles, so it's going to be soft. However, the parts that is covering your bones, such as your elbows and knees, they're a lot harder. There's only a few areas on the body where you can actually feel the skeleton. And for some odd reason, that rigid but soft texture is one of my favorite things in the entire world. And I know what you're thinking. If that's all I wanted, why couldn't I touch my own skin? And to that I say, the most honest answer is, I've gotten bored. When you know every nook and cranny, memorized every mole, hair, and former and current pimples, you go bored. It's kind of like doing the same puzzle over and over again. You're definitely going to get better at solving puzzles, but only that particular puzzle. And I'm a person of variety. Seeking out the differences in our similarities, I would say that's pretty interesting. Like, you can just tell what type of life someone had just through the texture of their skin. And yours says a lot about you. <laughs> you know, I made a few assumptions before I did this. Yes, of course I did. I made the assumption that your skin would be super soft and I would just want to live in it. Hmm? What did I say? I said... That your skin was soft and I wanted to live in it. Was there something wrong with what I said? Oh, right. I never got to the point. Sorry, beating around the bush again. But don't worry, from now on, I will never beat around the bush ever again. Oh, because I won't need to. I finally found a new suitor. Ugh, it's been so long. I hear the new dying question being formed. What the fuck am I talking about? Well, let me explain. So, if you haven't noticed, I'm not from around here, and I was in desperate need of, like, a new shell. This body was getting really old, and I was getting bored. And when I get bored, I get desperate, so that's why I'm here. At this school, at least. I was just quietly scouting for a new body when I heard a rumor that you liked me. And I was just thinking, wow, this is a perfect opportunity. So I did some digging and found out who you were. And I... Whew, what I said earlier stays true. You are very cute. My type, to be exact. And I just kept thinking to myself, imagine having someone like that as my host, my body. Oh, I just had to have you. So, as any normal person would, I asked you to meet up with me, and here you are. Oh yeah, and the whole, like, need to touch your skin, sensory overload shit. That was just a way for me to closely examine if we could fit together. And hey, I come to find out that your body is like a perfect fit for the both of us. Long story short, I did everything that I could to avoid as much suspicion as possible. <laughs> of course, my situation is like so unique, I didn't have a choice but to look a little bit weird. But wow... I didn't expect you to have no suspicions, like, whatsoever. You played right into my hand. And for that, I'm gonna say, thank you. You delivered me a gorgeous body to my doorstep. It's like what I mentioned before. Nobody ever went this out of their way for my own hyperfixation. You really are an answered prayer. Now I can feel your soft skin all over. Huh? Oh, I can feel it right now? Yeah, the outside of the skin, that is. But what I really crave? 
is that warm, fleshy blanket underneath. Because as you can only imagine, all of the flesh has rotten away from this body, leaving a cold, empty husk. And I just couldn't take it anymore. I needed to feel warm. I needed to feel alive. So, here we are. But I will say, two people sharing the skin of one body, it must feel kind of cramped almost. Overwhelming, even. That need to get out. Oh, you know it well, don't you? <laughs> I'm feeling another dying question forming. Why can't I move? I guess I have to answer honestly. So to that I say, I'm just too excited. I cannot wait to be in my new body. That gorgeous, gorgeous body of yours. I'm going to be living inside of it. And even as you rot away, I will be there to hold you together. <laughs> I guess, quite literally, we have many years ahead of us. So what do you say? Let's get this show on the road. Let's start a new life together. Forever. <laughs> I really like that word. But not as much as I like my new body. Thank you again, by the way. I'll be sure to put it to good use. So don't you worry. Leave everything else to me. <laughs> <laughs>